welcome back to the Inspired Method YouTube channel. Um, my name is Trevor Sands and this is my lovely wife, Karen. And today we are going to be talking about tips to building customer relationships. So here's a quote from Brian Kramer. Communication shouldn't be complicated. It should just be genuine and simple. And did you know that 32% of customers expect a response within 30 minutes online? Cut fast. Yeah. So uh, a couple ways you can that I've used social media to uh, elicit a response from a business would be even, well, I've heard of anyway, I've never actually done this, but airlines, when people are standing in line, checking in, they start tweeting about what is going on in this line at such and such airlines, and they actually get a response very quickly because somebody is monitoring um, those channels and they wanna make sure their customers are happy. So use Twitter for that, it's an awesome <laughs> place to do that. You get the fastest response there. Very good. So, Karen, what does your audience really want to know about? Well, most audience want to know what your business is about. So if you're building a, a customer relationship from your brand, your business, to the customer, they want to know about you, they want to know about your brand, they want to find out who you are through social media, that's probably the easiest and fastest way, and most cost effective. You can listen to them, what they're saying on social media, as I described in that story with Twitter, and then you can deliver valuable content to them because you know what they want to hear, you know what they want to know about. So that's kind of how you figure out what your audience wants to know. Okay, so how fast do you need to respond on social media to customer inquiries? Yeah, there, there is kind of a magic number. Um, people want to be responded to within 60 minutes. So within that hour, uh, when you're getting uh, questions through social media online, um, this makes customers happy and increases the revenue and it actually builds trust between you and your customers. Awesome, that's really cool. So can you rely on automated messages like bots when dealing with, with customers? You definitely can use bots with your customer relationships, but you don't wanna stay just with that and response mm -hmm. because it's going to be very limited like most bots will actually say that and you can I think you should move into having a human respond to the, re the questions and whatever is coming through um, your messenger or maybe it's through whatever direct message system you have set up mm -hmm. you'll want to move to being a human responding to those responses right so have somebody set up on the other side to respond to chats and customer mm -hmm. questions and um, the basics, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Customer, customer support. Yeah, customer service. Awesome. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> what are some ways to show off your company or brand's human side? Well, you can uh, introduce the staff in your business to your customers. You can have their bios there. You can use stories through Facebook and Instagram uh, to just show the inside scoop, I guess, or the inside of your business to those customers. Mm -hmm. You can use emojis through your copy, whatever you're saying on your yeah. posts. Um, but of course, they want to make them appropriate because you want to maintain a level of professionalism, but show, you know, your human side. Right. And uh, just take part in the trends and discussions that are already happening on social media and use video as well. That would mm -hmm. really help for you to get that customer relationship growing because it's that human touch and that you know you're a real person on the other side of that business yeah i think video is really the strongest way to go in order to show you know that you have that you get that you're a real business with real people that really care exactly. and i think if you can show that through using video then you you're on your way to really creating a good connection with people on the other side mm -hmm. of your social media platform or your website so, how do you show your customers that you really appreciate them? Online? Well, you, one fun way uh, is to use a competition or a contest. So you're asking them for um, to answer questions, maybe to help them engage with you, so that they can win something or spread your brand awareness around. Mm -hmm. And then you can reward them through whatever it is that you want to give away or a promotion that you have set up. Uh, you can use polls when you're in on your Instagram stories or even your Facebook stories. There's uh, places to use that. 
and actually you can use them right on Facebook as well. And it just helps your customers to feel like they're part of your business as well and you and you reward them. So that shows you appreciate them. Cool. Very good. So um, how can you use Facebook um, feedback from customers effectively? Uh, so about 70% of customers use social media to raise awareness of an issue. So you need to pay attention to what those issues are so you can fix them. So that's how you use that feedback the most effective way and you respond to those pain points and then you can uh, turn the unhappy customers into raving fans or brand ambassadors just by being a human being, like just <laughs> responding to them and, de and developing that relationship. It's all about being social and that even goes right into a business and a brand you want to show that you're a real person and mm -hmm. that there's some socialization there so yeah and you know a lot of the, the biggest brands do that i think uh, apple used to do it really really well mm -hmm. um used to um, really have that that human touch in their advertisements yeah. and it really made you feel connected to a community so if you can do the same thing and build that community within your your tribe of people who are raving fans in your business then you're just going to help with goodwill and get more people wanting to be involved in that, in the party, being involved in the process, in the, in the uh, communication. Yeah. So um, what are some ways that you can go the extra mile with your customers? Well, you can offer exclusive discounts for those that you know are paying attention to your brand. You want to make them feel like they're a part of that community, like you said. So and any kind of exclusive discount or promotion uh, events so example of this would be a radio station maybe they have special concerts where it's only the listeners who actually well because they're listeners they are uh, involved in winning tickets to that contest we had that happen to us and it was like the most amazing events it was much more intimate and we won the tickets because we were listeners and it just we felt like we now I actually listen to that radio station hmm. even though I may not always be trying to win tickets, I'm yeah. actually more involved with that community because of it. So, yeah. And you can also offer additional support before your customers need it. So that's mm. another thing about that. That's really good. So going above and beyond the call of duty is really kind of the norm today. If you want to be successful, especially um, on it, with your online presence, <clears throat> like just making sure that you are um, you know, giving that top notch customer service very very important I, I don't think there's anything more right now today that has changed business than moving towards a better quality of service think about Airbnb um, uber Amazon <clears throat> these companies who are really pushing to create a wow experience for customers and uh, you know they're really transforming and revolutionizing the world and how we do things so um, how can you show customers that you really value their opinion well, one easy, quick way is to take user-generated content mm -hmm. and reshare it within your brand, like within your social media uh, accounts. Um, so whatever your customers are saying or people that are following you, you know, use that information and reshare it. It shows that you appreciate their feedback. So. Awesome. Now, <laughs> what is the KLT factor when it comes to marketing to your customers? Well, the KLT actually stands for know, like, and trust. So when you have reached those three elements with your customers where they know you, they be, you know, they start to like you, and then they become you become trustworthy to them. They trust your opinion, they trust your brand. Uh, that's just a way to to keep them to always being raving fans. So you keep those raving fans and brand ambassadors. And you do that through just being open, honest. Um, and exceed their expectations. So like you said, going above and beyond and that just keeps that KLT factor alive and well in your business. So is there anything else that we can do to transform people from uh, casual observers into raving fans? Well, the uh, best way is to share your passion through your brand, whatever that, it, whatever that is that you're passionate about, whatever your brand stands for, those core values, what your mission is, what your, uh, what your problems you're trying to solve and your purpose is when you share that with your fan well with anyone and then they identify with it and it sits well with them and you know they have those same values mm -hmm. 
they become raving fans. It's just a natural reaction and they will take ownership with you, with your brand. Mm -hmm. And also you can give them a sneak peek and just <laughs> inside your business to see what that is. So a little behind the scenes look. Yeah, exactly. So that helps turn those observers into raving fans. Well, awesome. Thanks so much, Karen. Um, that was great. Thank you for all of your insights and wisdom you have about social media and how to create those raving fans using social. And if you guys like this, give us a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel and maybe give us a few comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.